In this video, we're going to learn how to properly poach eggs. I have a pot of water that I've brought up to a simmer and then dropped back down. So if you can see into the bottom of my pot here, I just have the smallest little bubbles starting to form at the bottom. And this is exactly where I want uh, my water to be. If I was gonna use a thermometer, it would be about 180 degrees. What I don't want is bubbles forming in my water. Um, that's going to uh, break apart the egg. Um, so to poach my eggs, um, in addition to having water in this uh, pot here, I also have uh, vinegar. Uh, adding vinegar to our poaching liquid is going to help the, uh, the protein in the egg whites co uh, coagulate and uh, make it so that we retain a lot more of our egg white. So to poach our egg, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my spoon and I'm just gonna stir the water to kind of get a little cyclone going in the middle. And you can see that that water is swirling around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until this water is almost uh, completely still. I'm then gonna take my egg crack it delicately either into a bowl or another pan, and I can see that my water is still circling around just a little bit too fast. I'm gonna wait till it slows down. I don't know if you can see, there's a bubble here that's floating around, and you can see the circle that this water is making. All right, now that my water has almost stopped, I'm gonna quickly but delicately drop my egg in. And you can see what happens when I drop that egg in. It slowly kind of cascades around the bottom of the pan and all of that egg white is enveloped into my poached egg. If I didn't use this technique of stirring, what might happen is that some of my egg white would kind of float off and kind of collect at the top. And you can see there's just a very little bit of that happening here. I have a little bit of this egg white here that's kind of, uh, uh, come to the top, but it's such a little amount. What that stirring does, again, it kind of envelops that egg white uh, around uh, the poached egg, uh, making for a nice uh, full poached egg. At this point, uh, I'm just gonna let this egg poach. Um, it's going to be probably about three minutes for poached light, just like with our fried egg. The quality mark that we're looking for is that the white is going to be completely cooked through and the yolk is going to be cooked to our desired doneness. So we're gonna go for poached light, which is the equivalent of over easy. So it's been about three minutes and my poached egg is ready and I'm gonna be very delicate and remove it from my water. And I can tell that this poached egg is ready because when I press the white, uh, it feels nice and firm, whereas the yolk still feels uh, nice and jiggly, which is going to tell me that it's going to be um, poached light. Okay. okay. So when I cut into this egg, what we're going to see is that the yolk of the egg comes cascading out, but you can see that there's none of that white left. And again, I used the, the same description um, with the fried egg video of that kind of snotty looking white, and I know it's kind of a, a gross description, but it's always what it reminds me of. And you can see, I just have that really nice uh, yolk here and none of that white running out. Um, and again, I knew that that white was cooked because of the feeling when I pressed it, right? It didn't feel like that white was still uh, jiggly. I felt that kind of raw jiggly feeling where the yolk should be, and when I moved over to where the white was, it felt nice and solid. Okay, so let's review. When poaching an egg, start with simmering water that's brought back down to our poaching temperature of about 180 degrees. Next, add about a quarter cup of vinegar per gallon of water to help the egg whites coagulate. Finally, use a spoon to stir your water into a cyclone. 
Wait until the water almost completely stops spinning, then delicately drop your egg into the water. 